good morning and welcome back again. Today we are going to talk about another session in the chapter 12, 12.3 is about how to deal with the uh, vectors. So we have two multiplication, dot and cross. We try to cover all this here today. First of all, we have what? We have a dot project, and if we, we have two angles, two, for example, vectors like a U and V, U and V, of course, we need to find the angle between them sometimes. So this is called angle between U and V. It's called theta. So what's, which relation, which <coughs> rules we can use? We have a row of, or law of cosine. You can see from here, if you have a two vectors like u, u1, 2, u3, v, v1, 2, v3, or v2, if you try to find the angle between them, so we are going to use the cosine. So it means that cosine of theta is equal to what? To u1, u1, 1 by 1, plus u2, v2, plus u3, v3, then over what? Over the length of u and v. Clear. Good. So, and the result of here is called dot product. So what's a dot product? If I have u, which is equal to u1, u2, for example, u3, and if I have v vector, which is equal to v1, v2, and v3, if you try to find the dot between them, you will get number. So multiplication between two vectors in dot, you will get number, result, scalar. So it's equal to u1, u1, plus u2, v2, plus u3, v3. Example, you can see this example. It's clear. You can see this example. u is equal to a dot, and it's called dot product. So how many product do we have? Two products, U prod, uh, dot product and cross products. Good. Look at this example. Example one, if you have in the component comp, uh, form or if you have uh, on the IJK form, you can see from here, one by minus six plus minus two by two plus one by, or sorry, minus one by minus three. And you add them. The result is what? is scalar number. How about if I have this component, it's easy, I say i with i, j with j, k with k, of course, addition between them, and I will get again, number. Clear. You need to do it. So, the cosine, or the rules is what? You can, briefly, you can write, you can write the angles, you can write, find the angles between two things. You can see it's cosine of uh, theta or cosine of theta is equal to u dot v over length of u, length of v. And that is true. In the exam, during the exam, if I ask you to find the angle, you see is what? You see is equal to cosine inverse u dot v length u length v. Clear? Of course, the result will be number, the result will be number. To understand, try to solve this example. Look at the example. You have U, you have V, fine angle. So I need to what? I need to dot product. Then I need the length of U, length of V. Here's the length, here's dot, here's the root. Of course, during the exam, you will stop here because you don't have a calculator. You will just write that result for me. Clear, dear? Easy? You saw that one, of course, in the many cases. How about if I say find the angle between these three points? Find this angle. How to, how to do it? Can you give me the clue how we do it? Yalla, guys. Okay. How? Exactly. How? Thank you. So we try to find the vectors. 
make that one u, make that that one as v, right? How between two? Yeah. It's initiating of course, uh, uh, you are right. We have three angles here. Of course, we need to select which angle we. You got it, dears? So how we do it? We say, for example, CA. Now I'm going to recall that on CA. Here's CA angle. And of course, CB, the second vector. You can recall that on U or V, up to you. The important thing is that what to establish, to find, to make a vectors. So between that one and that one, and you'll get a result. You know how to do it because you have in two dimensions. So uh, CA means that A0 minus 5, 0 minus 2. Then I'll get what? That will be your vector, and the, of course the other is easy. Then instead of u, I have that one. Instead of v, I have that one. And this, the length and the length, and everything is clear. Do you understand example three, please? Yes. Good. Now, and of course, you'll leave your example here. Now, we have an orthogonal or perpendicular. Norm, sometimes it's normal. So you have a orthogonal or perpendicular. So if you have two vectors, if they are perpendicular each other on each other, U and V, how do you know? We are going to just try to multiply dot product between them and you'll get zero. If I get zero, means that they are perpendicular to each other. For example, look at this example, sorry. We have a U, V. So tell me, U, V, they are perpendicular or not? I don't know. I'm just going to multiply. So 3 by 4 is equal to 12 plus minus 12 is equal to 0. So it means that they are perpendicular. I like that. So two vectors. Vector number 1, vector number 2. They are perpendicular. Again, B, U and U multiply. Maybe you get 0 or not. Depends. And you know... Zero vector. If you multiply to any vector, you'll get what? Zero. Good. What's the property between uh, for this operation, a special operation between two vectors, which is called dot product? You can see here everything is easy. You can do it. Commutative. You can say uv or vu. Does not make a change. You can do it. But with the cross, no. Later we, we will have something like that. With the cross, it's not equal. You need to be you need to be careful. But they are not equal in the cross. So here is okay. This one is called scalar. You can find or you can bring out the scalar or you can do whatever you want. And that one is called distribution. If I have two ve three vectors, I can find the distribution between them. How? by multiply one by one and finding the addition between them. So look at here. Here's for first plus here's for the second. And we say that zero multiply any vector will get zero. And last one is the length. The length is what is equal to u dot u. Okay. Give me example to understand. You can also have a projection. Look, this is the projection. You can see from here. I'm going to Bring bring that on to up, but when I am going to up, uh -huh. directly is moving to 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 my work to my place, right? So there's a, some things. It's called projection. Your you have a box. You try to bring it to up. When you bring it to up, the box will come to to your side. It's forward. So this move and the analyzing of this force or this vector is called projection. So here's the projection. Every book is like a projection, project. And of course, we have two. We have At the beginning, we have one vector. But when we touch it, it will be two. It will be analyzed. You can see, here's the rope. Then when we bring it to up, 
there will be uh, some things yes so we have a vector number one vector number two so that's what's called projection u over v and on to v what's the relation between the projection and dot product that's the, our duty you can see from the rule here's the rule projection is equal to what of course i have a, i'm talking about projection of u on to v so it's equal to dot product between them okay length of v multiply v so the result is it will be what number or variable or uh, vector sorry dears hmm? Projection here, Zeka. Lanjami should receive a Katushega or Ranakishi. A Barzeki to Asma, and Asa say, Oh, China. No Barzagamba Asma. Mberzagamba Asma Katito Zeka, she had Berulayman, only. Mberzakamo de Berulayman, Sedica. Out was a pillar projection. Lanjami should analyze Muni vector key desto. Or Pataka Rakishi, Kachi, here's a Gabo Sarawa, the vector, vector Jubalai to Anya, Katabu analyze. Patahuara Buba Duba, she can both Sarawa, he can bo Bolaiku. I'm a pillar projection. Cut a UV me. Yes, I can wrap the legal dot project at Chon, the Kadva, Lira, projection, the UV. But a dot project, lengthy V, multiply V. The question came in over resulting amateur vector and Bezahman number. Why? لبر أخيد أنا أو فيا أو فيا وايد يكاد فيكتر ب. أما النمبرة أو النمبرة مالتيبلاي فيكتر. أوكي يا 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 يا. تعال تيجي شيء. سكالر يك أبى بس سكالر يو أر رايت. فور ذا سكالر يك إيتر. سو مالتيبلاي فيكتر يو ويل يل جيت وات فيكتر أوف كورس. هاو بات دوت برودكت دوت برودكت إز نمبر. سو هيرز ذا رول. أن هيرز ذا سكالر كومبونين سكالر كومبونين شيء. Scalar component, you can see this part is called scalar component. Oh, Bashi, a To understand what do you, how's the, your example in the queues, for example? I'm going to ask about what? Ask about fine projection, UV, and fine scalar component. Scalar component, I'm a ruler KT. We say U cosine theta is equal to what? U dot that. Okay. To understand, try to solve this example together. We are going, we are going to, to solve it together. So here's the projection. One year. So u dot v akatachi, 6 by 1 plus 3 by minus 2 minus 6, which is equal to 0, 2 by 2 minus 4. So you'll get what? You'll get minus 4. How u dot aka? How about length of v? Asaka, one by one, rule by rule. Length of v squared. So I'm a v length equal to one four four nine. When yeah, nine squared equal to what? Sorry, square root of nine equal to what? Nine. So I got minus four over nine. Do you have any problem with that one? Yes. No. Now multiply what? Multiply v itself. So here we are. We got what? The projection, we got a vector. Clear? Hello? Are you fine, Kaka? Good. Now we got a vector. Now, scalar component equal to what? Scalar component equal to U multiply norm of V. Uh, uh, sorry, unit vector of V. What do you mean by unit vector of V? I mean V over V. So here's the U. Here's V over V, and here's the multiplication between them. So, we got a number. Clear or not? Dears, please ask me if you didn't understand, or the idea is not clear. Okay, clear? Good. Yalla. Can you do it at home, that one? Make it as a homework for you. The same example, with a different numbers we have u v we have a force so you can see from the rule u v v square multiply v and we go to two dimensions any question about 12.3 it's easy just multiply yes example two, example two. okay 
ok تمام بيوت هير you have u so find the length of u equal to what square root of here 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 so i say one two square two square oh yeah say length then we get what nine تمام or three clear so length of u equal to three how about length of v again by the same rule you will get is equal to what 7. Now multiply them. Easy. Two numbers multiply is equal to what? 21. You got it, dear? Good. Question. Now we are going to cross product. But that one a little bit challenging. Maybe you saw it before that one. I don't know. Cross product is equal to is called sine, sine rule. Dot it was cosine. Cross is what is sine. So you can see there's a, like an x between u and v, not dot. So this one is very different with the others. Now we have what length of u, length of v, sine normal vector. That n is called normal. Okay. Two vectors. U and V, they will be parallel, not perpendicular, parallel. If the cross product between them equal to zero. You got it? If the dot product equal to zero means that U, V are perpendicular. If the cross are equal to zero means that they are parallel. Clear? So how we, how we cross? The cross operation is how? First of all, let me give you the properties. Then later we are going to the rule, how to do it. You can see from here, uv, the import, let me start with the first one. The number is okay. You can bring it out. Good, thank you. The distribution as well is okay. You can take that one plus that one. So till here, there is no problem. Just we distribute it. Do you agree with me? Can you see the rule number one and two? Can you review it for me? Do you think there's any problem? No problem, right? It's clear. How about the third one? It's not commutative. You cannot say u cross v is equal to v. No. You need to add minus. So we have a minus here. Be, clear, be careful. How about distribution from the other side? That one as well is okay. Okay. How about multiplication? This the first. The third one, the second one that we have a problem is the number six. The number six is what? The sixth one is what? Is if you have three crows, three crows, it's easier to change it to dot. How? I say u dot w v minus u dot v w. You try to control these two rule and do not make a mistake. So it will be u dot uh, w multiply v and minus u v multiply w. So it, I will get what? I'll get vector minus vector. Generally speaking, generally speaking, cross will give you the vector. The cross product between two vectors, the result will be vector. But how about dot? We say scalar number. So careful. Good. We have an IJK. You know what's the IJK we mentioned in the previous lecture. The direction of the x axis, y axis, z axis. So if we multiply i by j, I'll get k. If I multiply j by k, I'll get i. If I multiply k by i, I'll get j. So it's like that. It's like a triangle. Like a triangle. So they are like that. Okay? Clear, dears? 
If you are going to like that, you'll get a minus. Okay. And related to, and just it's like a preparation, just talking. Related to the cross product, we have an area. So we have an area. So related to dot product, we have a we had a projection. Now here we have what? We have an area. Area of what? Parallelogram. We have an area for parallelogram. Okay, good. So how we find them? We see is equal to length of cross was equal to something like that. Now that we apply all this rule together, let me apply. First of all, how we find cross product? We should use determinant of matrix. Did you hear about that one? When? <laughs> Differential equation. How about the other? Physics. Physics. You saw that determinant? Very good. So we have what? We have a determinant of two by two matrix. Is equal to main diagonal, exactly, AD minus BC. That's good. How about for three by three matrix? You know how to do it. Yeah, exactly. We have I, J, K, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So I'm going to say I multiply what? B, C, E, F. Tamam? That's hosh. Minus J multiply what? AC D, D F. Tamam? Good. Plus the third one. <coughs> Plus K A B D E. Then later, you'll use the same technique for two by two here for determine, determine, finding the determinant. Clear? Is there any student that didn't know how to do it? Good, very good. So, now we have a vector, find, u cross v and v cross u if you have u and v can you imagine how to do it yes can you do it yeah i'll give you one minute to finish please do it if you can to practice please amount let me see you can see fine i minus careful from the minus as you mentioned then jk everything is good you will get what the result is what vector right yes the result is vector how about cross commutative cross we just we add uh, by property we are not going to find it again it will be wasting time. So use the, this property, just put minus. Good. So you'll get minus this result. Am I right? Here's your result. Here is minus. Tamam? Clear. Good. Now we have what? We have a vector find the vector perpendicular to the plane of that one. So we have a plane with a three point P, Q and R. So you see what you say, find a vector perpendicular to this plane. So how we do it? Doing the exam, how I, how I can distinguish between them. So now I'm going to find N. Exact points as we did before. Thank you. So I'm going to find PQ, for example, and PR. 
right? Or QR, then cross them, you will get the perpendicular, the normal one. So means that the result, if I have a plane like that, and I have a view V, if I have it, okay. If I don't have it, I, I gave you the point, make it. Then if I have a UV, if I try to cross these two, two, two vectors, I'll get N. N is what? Normal one, perpendicular thing. So uh -huh, look, this is U, this is V. The cross between them will be vector like that. You got it, dear? So now, when he asks about perpendicular, I'm going to find PQ, PR, to have a vector like that. So PQ, for example, PR, to get a U and V, then I'm going to cross the result of PQ, PR, I'll get the normal. Look, Kakeja. Here's PQ, U. Here's PR, called V. Here's cross between U, cross V. Then you got it. Clear, dears? So cross related to what? To perpendicular and as well what? As a perpendicular on that plane, not perpendicular line. And as well, I'll get a vector. How about area? We say that. Area is what? We say is related to length. Uh -huh. I told you later we are going to use. Do you remember area? So I have an area. Area of what? Area of uh, parallelogram. How about triangle? Triangle is equal to what? The area of triangle is equal to area of perpendicular divided by 2. Am I right? If I want to find the triangular's area, so I'm going to find a parallelogram because I have a vector. Then I'm going to cross. I'm going to find the length. Then I'm going to divide by two. Shall I repeat it? Dears, if you want to find the area of the triangular, for example, I have what? I have P, Q, and R. Let me say R. So I'm going to find the area. Two vectors, U, two vectors, for example, V, then using the length of U cross V to have the perpendicular area, then divide by two, I'll get what, or divide by two, I'll get the area of triangle. Clear? Kaka, idea can clear in? Good, so do it. Now, I have U, I have depends on the previous example. Example number three depends on example number two. So I have this, I'm going to use this result as a U cross V. Uh -huh. Here's again. So U cross V equal to 6I, 6K. Now length of this one will be what? 6 square, 6 square. And I'll get what? I'll get 6 squared of 2. Because I want a triangle, not parallelogram, so I'm going to divide by two. Six divided by two, three. Did you understand? During the exam, if I ask you about the area, you know how to do it? Make the cross, find the vectors. Make a cross, divide by two. Tan length, then divide by two. Question. Good. Find unit vector perpendicular to that one. You know, unit vector is what? We, have, we need to find the normal vector. So I have what? I told you. To find normal, you are going to do what? Day years? To find normal. <laughs> PR. Then cross, you'll get N. So if I want to find unit vector of n. How we do it? How we do unit vector? We say unit vector is equal to what? For example, v over v. Do you remember that? But when I got to a normal vector, it has vector. So we cheap key. Hoi da vashi length take it. Kaata. Isa chimi, isa n me. I wanna 
n unit vectors. So I'm going to find n over n. Am I right? Tamam? Good. So oh, another Q how the cross over here now. PQ cross PR. Babu, hello. Hey, Chile, come. PQ. PR. So I will get what? N unit vector. So the example number two, three, four, you can bring it as a one package for the for the example. I the example a package going to. Now in normal code here. I'll give you three points. I say find unit normal vector. Huh? Unit normal vector on the plane. Got the plane like one here. P, Q, R, so find the normal unit perpendicular. Understood, yes? So what, what, what's, again, what's your duty? Your duty to find U, V, multiply, find, and go. Now, triple scalar product determinants. So we have what? We have three things together, we multiply. But between them, there is what? Between two of them, there's a dot and cross. So we have a triple vectors, and there's a two operations, cross and dot. So how we find them? Yeah, exactly. Using the first, no, using the first, uh, what do you say? First uh, vector for you, second uh, row, it's called row. First row for the first vector, second row for the second row, second vector, and last one for the dot. And the result will be what? Number, for, of course. Determinant, the result of the determinant, surely is number. So again, because we have a cross, is the vector. Multiply dot, it will be the no, uh, number. How to find them? Look. Find the volume. Now change the volume, calculating volume. Of the box, box, you know, like a filling body, and so that parallel pipe. One year, what could body can I body now? Box and box, what could robust cubic? So find the volume of this one. So how we find them? Of course, I have a U V W. I have a U V W. So we are we, we try to find the this volume. I have U, V, W, for example. You got it here? So how we find the volume? We are going to use the cross dot. How? U cross, here's U, 1, one 2, minus 1. How about V? Minus 2, 0, 3. How about W? 0, 7, minus 4. Then the result will be 23. Any question about 12.4 years? Okay, everything is good. Do you have any things about it? 